got another question for the equilibrium topic. So this one's got a KC calculation in it and a question where you've got to explain equilibrium shift in terms of KP. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So the KC expression is obviously the equilibrium concentration of the NO2 squared because it's balanced with a 2 divided by the concentration of the NO squared multiplied by the concentration of O2. To get the units for KC, we just substitute in the units for the terms in the KC expression. You can see these will cancel. So we're going to be left with 1 over moles per decimeter cubed. We just take everything up to the top and flip the sign, which gives dm to the 3 mol to the minus 1. So moving on to part B, we've got to calculate the amount in moles of NO2 in the mixture. Well, we can use the KC expression to calculate the concentration of NO2 and then we can factor in the volume and turn the concentration into moles. So rearranging the expression, we get the concentration of NO2 equal to the square root of this. Putting the numbers in, we get that, but just remember we were told the moles of NO and the moles of O2, but obviously we need the concentration. So that's why I've divided by 4 moles over volume gives concentration. So the concentration for the NO2 is coming out at 0.3 moles per decimeter cubed. So all we need to do now is multiply that by the volume, which is 4, to get the moles of NO2, which comes out at 1.2 moles. Moving on to part C now, we've got to use the data in the table to decide whether the forward reaction is exothermic or endothermic. So you can see at the higher temperature, the Kp value has decreased. So what that means is the higher temperature must be favoring the reverse reaction. So that reverse reaction must be endothermic because those reactions favor a higher temperature and therefore the forward reaction has got to be exothermic. And finally, explain in terms of Kp how the position of this equilibrium would change if the pressure is increased but importantly, the temperature's kept the same. So there's the Kp expression. So if we think about what's going to happen, if you increase the pressure of the, the whole thing, the whole mixture, then the partial pressures of everything in the mixture, they're all going to increase. So now we need to look at the powers within the Kp expression. So you can see we've got a total power of 2 on the top in this numerator term, but we've got a total power of 3 on the denominator term. So the denominator is going to be affected more than the numerator. So because we're at the same temperature, Kp can't change. So to maintain Kp, this needs to increase, the partial pressure of the NO2 needs to increase, and the partial pressures of these, the NO and the O2, they need to decrease. So how does the equilibrium shift to bring that about? It moves to the right, or it moves forward, you could say. 